market good result selling the forestry assets to uh, of Timber Corp to Global Forestry. Uh, was it decided on price only, or was there something about the structure of their bid that made them win? Um, well, we had a very competitive process for the forestry assets, and um, what Global have done is is really purchased all the land that Timber Corp owns. It's going to take over substantially all the leases. It's going to keep all the employees and they'll keep harvesting the wood chips. So, and you know, the price was a good outcome. So there were a number of factors. I noticed that a couple of hundred million dollars of the price goes to the grower investors. How does that work? Why, why, does, why does that happen? And, and, and can you tell us how the outcome works for the grower investors in general? Okay, so in the forestry schemes, the, uh, the growers own the trees. All right, so uh, we sold the trees for up to $198 on behalf million. Of the growers. On behalf of the growers. So that's a, uh, you know, a reasonable outcome for the growers. The big issue, Alan, was that um, we needed to pay the leases on the land. So part of the deal is we're able to take part of the deposit monies, pay the leases on the land. Therefore, the landlords, which were in default, can't take the growers' trees. So it's been a very good outcome. I mean, it was a race against time. We put Band-Aids all over it. But the growers will now get you know, up to $198 million for their trees. Mark, both um, Timicor and um, Great Southern went down very quickly. You've had a chance now to look properly at that Timicor business model, which is very complicated. You know, is there a simple analysis to say why it um, No, nothing in Timbercorp is, is, is simple. It, it, it is complex. But the defining issue in Timbercorp is it basically was going to run out of cash. So the directors had to um, look at the forward cash positions and say, given everything that's happened, um, drought, you know, MI schemes are a bit on the nose at the moment, um, performance and everything like that, they could foresee that the company was going to run out of cash and therefore had to appoint administrators. So that was the, the defining moment. But were the influences on its demise external or were they as much internal as external? I think predominantly, um, predominantly external from, from what I can see. Um, but, you know, they are cash flow hungry beasts and when you run out of cash the, the result is quite devastating.